Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? The features of continuing professional education (CPE). CPE provider process the expanded skills, uh, such as in education, the evaluation and consultation. The research and study done by Dali and Mot, two thousand. In today's society, the losing of the expert systems and the loss of certainty are very obvious. The repressing of partnerships and agents increase the systemization in the expert system. Thus, the authenticity and the truth of the profession service minimized. The systemization could ambiguity the community and creates a blindfold society that is waiting for disaster to happen. For the authenticity cannot be replaced by anything else but the professional itself, as it is very true that Wilson two thousand put forward some statements on the fact that about the loss of professionalism. One, professional expertise was to remove uncertainty from life, to colonize the future by using expert knowledge to define and control our lives. Two, the growth of expert system is leading paradoxically to the growth of risk and the loss of certainty. Three, clients trust professional practitioners to act in the client's interest, but professionals' power to do so eroded by the dominance of the professional system in which they work. For example, hospitals owned by insurance companies. Corporate law offices held by state legislators, and government regulators working for industrial political action committee, for instance, we need components of effective CPE evaluation theory. CPE evaluation theory helps shape the effectiveness of the CPE programs by various stakeholder or agents. The methods are to one. Determine criteria. Two, set standards. Three, measure performance. According to Otto Song, two thousand six, CPE evaluation theory components are one, programming theory. Questions such as what is the CPE program, how is it intended to work. Two, valuing theory. Questions. What is the basis for determining CPE value? Who decides? Three knowledge theory. Questions: How is knowledge about CPE value constructed? Four utilization theory. Questions such as: Are evaluation findings used by whom? Toward what ends? CPE defined as professional learning, in which. The transfer of learning and adoptions of innovation are part of the knowledge construction process. CPE, which stands for Continuing Professional Education, is characterized by the activeness in constructing knowledge based from practice, how knowledge is constructed, how it is linked with professional practice, and how the context affects the process. Another question you might ask, based on Mo's research. One, what must the professional know? Two, what must the professionals do in a broader sense? Three, what is the professional all about? Perhaps these are the questions that are worth to ask. Thank you for participating, watching, and listening. Until next time.